hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is oluchi emo and on today's video in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make a t-rex cake i'm so excited about this guys i am so excited so this is my first time of making a t-rex cake and the prince just arrived so i have the t-rex here i have another dinosaur and i have another cake as well that i'll be making but the T-Rex is what I think I'm going to be <laughs> recording or showing you. I have some things that I've made here as well. So I have this brick, brick fondant that I made. They are marbled. I made them over the weekend and it was at night. So I just couldn't do a video. I have this fondant stone right here. It's also marbled. If I can show you how I will. So I have this tree that I made. I made it over the weekend. I wanted it to dry before today. Today is Monday. And it's really dry as you can see i textured it with um, a knife a craft knife and this was made freehand no templates i didn't use a template for this i also have some trees this i thought i've shown you how to make this from my baby shark um video i have some dinosaur eggs that i made as well so this is what it looks like this is the egg and i made some monstera leaf as well I didn't want to buy this time. I wanted to do more of crafting on this cake. I made a board as well, a wooden signpost, and some monstera leaves. So all these are freehand. I didn't use a template for all of this. Nothing. I didn't use a template for any of the things you can see here. So I'm going to put you through on how to make a few of them, and then we'll go right ahead to cover the cake. This is how I made the monstera leaf. I have some fondant that I've added green color to right here I couldn't get a shade of moss green so I made green and then added some black to it to give me moss green so that's what I'm just going to do make green and then add some black to it so it's not completely blended but I'm just going to add my black already to it so that's some black fondant I added to it, so I will just mix them all up together. Because I don't want a bright green, what I'm looking for is moss green. You actually have Wilton moss green, but just in case you can't find it, this is what you can do. So leaf green or a, a light shade of green and then black would give you moss green. Here. So this is it. This is how you get moss green. Okay, so I'm just going to roll this out. We can um, add some CMC. So after then, I would just go ahead to cut a leaf, like so. Okay, and take this off. If you have a leaf cutter, that's fine. So I'll go in with my Dresden tool and draw a line in the middle using the blunt part. Draw that line in the middle. And then using my writing tip, I'll just make a hole and then do this. I would make another here, do this, and just like so. So if I want to make a bigger hole, I can take this and just do that do this okay and then lift up the leaf using my shovel tool and that's how I get my monstera leaf sorry about the double double line but this is it I would then keep it and allow it to dry okay fine-tune my holes or <laughs> smoothing my holes so that's how I got this and then I kept it to dry in a way that it's bent because that's what I want. I want some movement. So that's how to make a monstera leaf. You can print if you want to, but I chose to do this. And I want to show you how I made the, the tree. So I'm going to need my fondant, squeeze my work table, and just go ahead to roll out my fondant. So I would then go with this. And then draw like this. It's more like I'm drawing on a book. Okay. Then I would draw like this. 
and like this okay I will then go like this and also like this like this and then like this and I will go in with my Dresden so like so and then use this to make the patterns I'm going to use a bit of the front because I want some sharp marks. Then I'll go in to cut some V shapes like so. Let me make my lines in the middle first. So I'm just making lines in the middle of my leaves. and cut the edges so when I'm done I'll just pick out the centers and I'll treat like so so it stops now but you make it and then give it time to dry Still soft and light. So this is it. This is it, the effect of the body and then the cutouts. I'm going to clean here nicely, okay? But that is how I do it. This is the one I made earlier that is dry, and I'll be painting it very soon. Okay. These stones are marbled, just gray, and then I just did something like this. So I just did something roughly like this. Just a rough shape, no particular design. Can you see that? That's how I got this the stones. So I just finished painting and I'm trying to make a name topper. Try to paint it now. Oh, my hands stained them a bit. So I'm going to paint in halfway orange. After doing that, I would go in with yellow. Yellow is dull. So I deepened it. So I'm just going to go in with yellow. Okay. I'm filming this. It's not the easiest thing to do, but for you, I will. So this is what it looks like. My E cracked a bit there. 